In this video, we will show how to connect an iFlow Touch pressure controller to common components of an experimental setup. The iFlow Touch has four independent sources with two channels each. These connect to other components with Tigon tubing. Flow sensors may also be powered by the controller. These should be plugged into the same source as their connected reservoirs. We'll now go over the rear I.O. of the controller. Pinch and isolation valves can be plugged into outlets 1, 2, 7, or 8, but not the DC 24 volt ones. Rotary valves may be plugged into the 4-pin outlet, which may be split into multiple such valves. The iFlow Touch is also compatible with external pressure sources, which connect to it here. There are other ports on the I.O. which are less commonly used, but some listed here may be used to power extension boards for more valves. Once everything else is connected, plug in the pressure controller's power cord. For using its built-in software, please see the respective video tutorial.